Good evening all. Am I audible? Audio video clear? Please mention. Just a minute, let me check whether the audio video is clear. Clear, right? Just a minute, let me check. Yes. Please share the link with maximum people, let more people join. Today we are starting grammar. In the next class also we will be discussing grammar. So invite all your friends. Today morning we discussed uh, the topic uh, comprehension which is also a verbal ability topic and those of you are new. This is the full length course. The playlist link is tagged in the chat. Clicking on the playlist, you can see all the previous lectures that I have scheduled in this uh, course. It's a complete course for GATE General Aptitude uh, for the GATE 2023 or 2024 exam. So, and all streams, this course is equally useful. So, invite all your friends, whichever stream they are, whether it is engineering or pure science, all streams, this uh, course is equally useful okay so let us start so verbal aptitude is what we are discussing now in the last classes comprehension is done vocabulary we are doing now idioms uh, phrases we have already discussed homophones we have discussed so and uh, today we are starting english grammar english grammar this is a syllabus mentioned tenses articles adjectives prepositions conjunctions subject verb agreement and other parts of speech so parts of speech is important because this articles sorry adjectives preposition conjunctions all are actually part of parts of speech itself you have learned in school days now what is part of parts of speech so i will just summarize some of the basic things that you need to know the entire grammar to cover it it will take a lot of time i mean uh, it will take days and months to cover the entire english grammar but practically for exam what all are more relevant that we will discuss more or the summary of things you should know we will discuss so parts of speech all of you know what is parts of speech right the eight parts of speech all of you know what are the eight parts of speech these eight part one second okay okay so the eight parts of speech you know verb noun pronoun adjectives adverbs prepositions conjunctions interjections okay i will suggest you those who are attending this session live or recorded your uh, idea about each of these parts of speech you can mention one by one we will discuss first we will start with noun what is a noun Noun is a word denoting a person, place or a thing. For example, John is going to new UAE, UAE next month. Here John is a noun, UAE is also a noun, month is also a noun. So what is a noun you all know, right? Name of people, name of places, name of things, all are nouns. So different types of nouns are there, proper noun, common noun, etc. Uh, that all we will not uh, go more in detail we will with questions we will discuss more okay what is a verb verb is what you do or the thing uh, means uh, 
for example i will run jump and skip down the track means run jump and skip are things you do na so that is called verb what is a verb yeah all of you know i am just stating the obvious i hope so and what is an adverb very fast we will discuss parts of speech and then i will discuss some practical aspects in questions how you can understand question better and answer faster adverbs are verbs that modify verb adjective another verb a phrase or a clause that means it qualifies a verb for example tailor quickly made the clothes there quickly is qualifying um, how he made so the made is qualified by quickly so that is an adverb so yes shruti doing verbs uh, words is verb now what is a pronoun pronoun actually replaces noun or another pronoun he is a tall person so here he refers to another person maybe the sentence is like ravi is uh, ravi is here he is a tall person so ravi is denoted by he here so that is a pronoun which is used in place of noun so pronouns there are different types of pronouns personal pronouns like he she it they possessive pronouns that is yours he hers his mine its ours i will share all these notes that time you can read more then interrogative pronouns are there whom who which what all those are interrogative pronouns and uh, demonstrative pronouns are there what is demonstrative pronouns demonstrative pronouns are pronouns which points to or identifies a noun or a pronoun this that these those etc are demonstrative pronoun this is a car this is uh, this is my cat so this is the demonstrative pronoun but my is the possessive pronoun there i hope you are understanding again names uh, sorry uh, the names is not very important knowing that there is something like that that is enough because question will not be asking which among the following is a pronoun or which among the following is a verb that is not how question normally asks so adjectives what is an adjective adjective modifies a noun or a pronoun by describing identifying or qualifying words the truck shaped balloon floated over the tree tops truck shaped is qualifying balloon so truck shaped is explaining more about that noun right noun balloon so that is an adjective then what is a conjunction conjunction is actually a linking word i ate burger and the chips i ate the burger and the chips so the burger and the chips is connected by and so the and is the conjunction there and is the conjunction there and but etc are conjunctions then prepositions very important topic many questions were asked from preposition what is a preposition i hope all of you know preposition links nouns pronouns and phrases to other words in the sentence on against over during beneath beside in at etc are prepositions then interjection what is an interjection interjection is a word added to the sentence to convey an image emotion hooray hey etc are like with exclamation we can use them to convey an emotion we use uh, interjection then okay that are the parts of speech more theory needed when i when needed i will explain in between the class now with questions we will get little more clarity we'll start with uh, yeah prepositions were asked a lot start with the latest question is a question yeah very simple question we will start with try this all of you i'll give you one and a half minutes one and a half minutes will be more than enough if you are getting answer early you can explain your ideas also why it is the answer why the option you opted is the answer that also you can mention just a minute one and a half minutes for each question try this question
any answers please mention in the chat the answer you got some of you already got an answer very good Okay, and you can mention why you think option B is the correct answer. Many of you got option B as the answer. Let's see. It is very simple, right? Yeah, some question. The thing is that you don't have to buy hard the rule behind when to use this, why this. By just substituting option, you will understand this is making sense. This is not making sense. That way also you can do questions. So, uh, in this question, that is enough, right? He was not only accused of theft but also of conspiracy as a matter of fact not only but also we have discussed about conjunctions right it's a conjunction actually so it is connecting these two things accused of theft and conspiracy cons conspiracy sorry theft and conspiracy is connected yeah actually normally this uh, not only but also is used when um, when we want to convey two surprising facts where the second fact is more surprising that is when we use not only but also he was not only accused of theft but also of conspiracy so option b is the correct answer so this was a gate 2020 problem i hope all of you understood yes it is a correlative conjunction very true uh, swati yes omkar hope all of you understood it then let's go to another question we'll see similar questions first Preposition based too many questions are there. I will come to that before that we will see some other type of question. Yeah, this was asked in 2021 gate exam. Please try it, please. Okay, some of you got an answer. Can you justify why it is so? What rule or why it or what area of grammar we need here? Tomorrow I will give you a little more detailed notes about this. So here subject verb agreement you should understand. What is subject verb agreement? I will briefly explain about subject verb agreement. Two, three times uh, in gate exam subject verb agreement related questions were asked. So here Arun and Aparna are here. Arun and Aparna is here. Arun's family is here. Families is here. Arun's family is here. Which of the following sentences is grammatically correct? Yeah, in the syllabus I showed you, subject verb agreement is something that is mentioned in the syllabus. So you should know basic things about subject verb agreement. I will give you uh, some idea here. Yeah, verb noun agreement itself. That is subject verb agreement. So here, let's see how subject verb agreement can be used to answer so just a minute subject verb agreement says that subject 
there should be an agreement with the subject with the number uh, subject with the verb in number and person that means if the subject is plural the verb also should be plural if subject is singular verb also should be singular that's all so how that will be helpful here arun and aparna that are two people now that means plural so two people are there so definitely the verb also this is called auxiliary verb again names and concepts that um, the strict rules you don't have to worry about much because grammar how much rules you learn there are some exceptions for the rule that we have to learn more so don't worry too much about the rules whatever you know whatever you can learn easily that only you focus more than that by substituting options sometimes you can easily find it sometimes you cannot find it also that is also a problem but this uh, uh, one good thing is grammar questions are not much in gate exam one or two questions that also one mark question normally one mark question one or two comes from grammar region so get an overall idea about which all types of questions were asked in gate exam from this area and confidently attempt or skip it at the time of exam yeah skipping a question confidently also is important judging whether the question is doable or not and skipping or trying it because sometimes some questions are very difficult that you cannot answer it easily without prior knowledge or detailed understanding of that topic then you should decide wisely or gracefully to skip the question that is also very important so um just like a cricket batsman know how to judge a ball or how to play or skip the ball you also should be able to do that because negative marking is there that is why otherwise skipping a question is not necessary you can try any question without any knowledge also but here negative marking is there so not attempting or not getting a negative mark for each question is also important so anyway here arun and aparna is plural so auxiliary verb or verb also should be plural is are which is plural r is plural na is is singular r is plural so definitely r should be used among is and r r should be um, used so arun and aparna are here arun and aparna is here among them this is correct and this is wrong are you understanding compare first and second they are saying only difference is is and r so is is not correct with respect to subject verb agreement second one arun's family is here arun's family is here family that is a group that is a single group are you getting so both are is so we have to adjust the noun here subject here verb is already singular so subject be singular hona chahiye na family or families mein singular kaun sa hai family hai na so that is why arun's family is here is the correct one families is here is wrong families hai to r hona chahiye but it is mentioned is that is why that is wrong so 1 and 4 is correct that is why option b is the answer gate 2021 problem all of you understood this please respond is this clear or not so that is an example of a subject verb agreement few more examples i will give you in the upcoming class 2022 this question was asked very simple na some people say grammar is very difficult but very silly question also were asked in gate exam which by just trying options you can get the answer try this and which parts of speech is this can you mention which parts of speech all the options are giving one single parts of speech which one conjunction right just like not only but also here also or and this is also a conjunction
Okay, so most of you got an answer. Mr. X speaks dash Japanese dash Chinese. So what we want to convey is Mr. X does not know Japanese also, does not know Chinese also. So the conjunction use, this is called alternative conjunction. So the conjunction uses neither Japanese nor, uh, nor uh, Chinese. Yeah, if either or was also there, then there is an ambiguity either or to be used, neither nor to be used. Then we need more context. But here either or is not there. This is either nor, don't get confused. But either nor is not a good, not a correct combination also. So neither nor only is possible and neither or also is not a correct uh, syntax. So it should be neither nor only. So option C is the answer. Super easy, right? Yeah, if either or is there, that is true also. Yes, Shruti, that is why they don't give that. Then, then we need to get a uh, context of the passage, whether they want to convey whether Mr. X do know both language or whether he don't know both language. So anyway, that is clear, I guess, gate 2022 problem. Then, okay, now we will see few questions from proposition. No, before that, we will see a few more questions of another type. Yeah, this was a good question asked in 2022. Yeah, this one, please try 2021 question. Pronouns is important here, understanding of pronouns. All of you try. Okay, some of you got an answer. Can you explain why it is correct? Consider the following sentences. Everybody in the class is prepared for the exam. Is it a valid sentence or grammatically correct sentence? Because option is saying about grammatically correct and ambiguity. Ambiguity I will come to. But grammatical correctness let us check first. Everybody in the class is prepared. So that is in past tense. That is totally correct if the thing is happening in past. In past it is totally okay now. And subject verb agreement also there is no problem or as such coming in this sentence so statement one is totally okay grammatically okay and is there any ambiguity ambiguity means confusion in meaning uh, we are confused whether it is told this way or that way there is a confusion created is there a confusion created no everybody in the class is prepared for the exam there is no confusion everybody is <laughs> prepared for the exam but look at the second sentence Look at the second sentence. Yeah, first sentence grammatically correct hai ya incorrect hai, that is what is asked. So, wo grammatically correct hai, incorrect nahi hai. So, option D eliminated, option D eliminated. Second sentence ambiguous hai ya unambiguous hai, that is what we need to check. Let us read. Babu invited Danish to his home. Babu Danish ko invite kiya because he enjoys playing chess. This is a personal pronoun. Personal pronoun he is referring to which person? Can you tell me in the chat? Can you mention this? He is referring to which person? Babu or Dali? One of them they are it is referring to. Because they enjoys means it is clear. Babu and Danish, both of them. But he enjoys. 
Is it Babu enjoys playing chess or is it Danish enjoys playing chess? That is ambiguous because both ways you can think and both are totally correct. Like you can think Babu invited Danish to his home because Babu invited Babu enjoys playing chess and he want company to he want company to play. That is why he is inviting Danish. Or Babu invites Danish to play chess because Danish likes to play chess and Babu likes doing what Danish likes or likes to give company to Danish because Danish likes it. Are you getting the point? So that is also possible, right? That means that is ambiguous. How the pronoun he used is amb ambiguous. So how to avoid the ambiguity? There are different ways to avoid ambiguity. One way of avoiding ambiguity is yes, many of you got this idea clear and uh, many of yeah, some of you think Babu, some of you think Danish. Now nah? that is what I am telling that is ambiguous. So to avoid the ambiguity, we can say Babu invited Danish to his home because the former enjoys playing chess that denotes Babu or the latter enjoys playing chess that denotes Danish. Former means first person mentioned, for latter means second person or last person mentioned. Or we can instead of he, you can use actually the noun itself. Uh, Babu enjoys playing chess or Danish enjoys playing chess. That is how you can avoid the ambiguity. All of you understood this. So second one is ambiguous. Second one is ambiguous. First one is sorry. First one is grammatically incorrect. Second one is ambiguous. So option C is the correct answer. All of you clear? Please respond. So that is a good question. 2021 gate exam problem. I'm trying to show you latest questions as much as possible. Uh, about verbs, I will explain tomorrow because that is a very big topic. So one whole lecture also won't be enough. So I'll come to that. Yeah, try this. This is a very interesting question. 2020 get exam problem. All of you try. We'll try to practice as many questions as possible. Okay, most of you got option B, which is a wrong answer. <laughs> I will explain why it is. Yeah, this is comparative degree that idea used is comparative degree, right? But uh, there is a problem here. Jofra Archer, the English fast bowler is dash than accurate. What is the sentence trying to say? Jofra Archer's speed is more than accuracy. Na? Jofra Archer's speed is more than Jofra Archer's accuracy. This is what the sentence is trying to convey. Did you understand that? This is what the sentence is trying to convey. If so, you cannot use faster because faster means it is comparing one person's speed with another person's speed. That means same qualities are compared. There you can use comparative degree. Here we are comparing speed and accuracy. It is not as comparing speed of Jofra Archer with speed of maybe James Anderson or some other some other uh, cricketer. Are you understanding the point? So the correct usage is more fast, more fast than accurate. It is trying to say 
again faster can be used when for example if the sentence is jofra archer is faster than uh, bhuvaneshwar kumar there it is fine because the speed of jofra archer and speed of bhuvaneshwar kumar is compared there faster is because fast faster fastest that is how comparative degree and superlative degree are written comparative degree superlative degree you have you have forgotten it is okay don't worry too much about what all you don't know because grammar is so vast and the number of questions you get is one or two so more focus you should give on the practice rather than uh, on uh, how much you know or how much you don't know some questions by usage or by you putting options you can do some questions you need to know the difference so here you you need to know the difference when to use more fast and when you use faster faster can be used if jofra archer speed is compared with another person speed more fast should be used because jofra archer speed is compared with jofra archer's accuracy the same nouns two properties or two characteristics are compared that is why more fast than accurate is correct all of you understood this please respond So that was a very good question na? and the options were also to uh, trick you to answer faster which is a wrong answer more fast is the, is the correct answer. Please respond all clear. So if you are watching this recorded also please respond whether you are understanding. So try this question please. Okay, another example of a question where subject verb agreement is important. Subject verb agreement, I will give more details with this question. The strategy is that the company dash to sell its product, dash house to house marketing. So, first if blank, we will fill first. Options available. In the four options, it is mentioned use, users, used, users. So, use, users, used is uh, mentioned. So, this is in present tense. So, definitely used is not needed. So, option C is eliminated. Use or uses. For that, you need to use subject verb agreement. Subject verb agreement says that if subject is singular, verb also should be singular. If subject is plural, verb also should be plural. It should agree with respect to verb in number and person. That means here, which is a subject? Tell me. Subject which is a subject here. The strategy is that the company dash to sell the products, which is a subject there. Is it strategies or company? Can you mention? Strategies is also a noun, but is it strategies or company? That is what I am asking is for this blank, which is a subject. That is what I am asking. For this blank, the subject is definitely company because company is using. Na? The action using or use is done by the company. So, the company is a subject here. So, company is singular or plural? It is singular. Na? Companies is plural. So, company is singular. 
So if subject is singular, verb also should be singular. Now be careful. Verb being singular, verb singular means normally S won't be there. In the case of noun, look at this. Cows, pens, uh, sweets. Here S is there in the end, denotes it is plural. Na? Exceptions are there also. But in verb, for example, use, use is actually plural. Uses is actually singular. If S is there, that is singular. This is plural I am writing. Plural nouns, plural verbs. Use. Then what? Walk. Jump. All these are, uh, all these are, um, all these are plural verbs. The singular of them is put is made by putting s in the end. So that is the twist. Please keep in uh, keep a note of it that in the case of verb s denotes singular, s in the end denotes singular. Exceptions are there. Again, I'm telling because s ending verbs that is a different case. So um, if s not there, that is uh, plural. In the case of noun, it is the other way around. If S is not there, that is normally singular. If S is there, that is plural. All of you understood this much. Please respond. It's not clear. Eh? So that is why we can we can easily answer this now. Na? The strategies that the company uses because company is singular. So singular should be here. Subject verb agreement. Singular is with S. So uses to sell its product dash. So what what is the subject for this blank? The strategies include, so strategy is the subject for this because what is included, strategy is included. The strategies the company used to sell products that is included. That means strategies that is plural. Na? Ye plural hai to, verb be plural. Hona chahiye. Answer option mein includes, include, including. Including is continuous tense that is not needed. Includes or include, which is better or which is which should to be used according to English grammar. Strategies is plural, so it should be singular. Plural, I told you verb singular means, sorry, strategies is sing, uh, plural, so verb should be plural. Plural is without us, so it is include. Are you all understanding? So it is option B, which is the correct answer. All of you understood this, please respond. Subject verb agreement question. So there was another question, subject verb agreement. Multiple times they have asked questions. Most years, uh, one question paper at least get a question from subject verb agreement directly or indirectly. Show you another question just a minute. Just a minute, I am not able to find that slide. Please wait. Okay. Okay, try this. Another question from subject verb agreement. One and a half minutes. Please try. 2016 gate exam problem. Okay, the title I had to correct.
okay so i'll explain out of the following four sentences which is the most suitable sentence with respect to grammar and usage yeah if you look at it a and b option are the same so they cannot be the answer because if one is the answer the other is also the answer no? they are related so if this is correct this is also correct that is not possible because only one option can be correct now why these are correct same does not and doesn't doesn't is just a short form of does not right so that is not different answer so if this is correct this also should be correct and vice versa that is why though no galate without doubt we eliminated two options now only two options remaining that is easier na? because you just have to compare what is different i will not leave the place until the minister this much is same meet me or meets me so we understood it's a subject verb agreement question minister is a subject na? minister is a subject minister singular hai? obviously ministers nahi minister hai singular ek minister hai so ek minister hai to verb bhi singular hona chahiye na verb singular hone ke liye s should be in the end normally so s is there means meets singular so singular singular so subject verb agreement is satisfied so option d is the answer all of you understood this please respond is this clear or not simple right subject verb agreement related questions i hope you got the idea how to do them if verb is singular subject also or if subject is singular verb also should be singular if subject is plural verb also should be plural and subject singular normally singular will be without s but verb singular is with s and subject plural is normally with s and verb plural is without s so that is how to understand it again once again i am saying there are exceptions exceptions you don't have to worry about too much so now preposition related and verb related questions are there we'll see two three more questions yeah try this determinants determinants also i hope you are clear yes mahima by today uh, uh, today we, we will upload all the previous pdfs this class also pdf i am planning to develop a little more theory for grammar in case you want to read it once it is done today's class also will be uploaded last class pdf i will share last classes pdf i will share it tonight itself okay so i'll explain so here determinants a and the you have heard about determinants now in the notes i will include that also a when a is used determinant a is used when a apple or an apple it is an apple now so with vowel sounding words not vowels vowel sounding words we we should use an with consonant sounding words we use a what is consonant vowels all of you remember right a e i o u are the vowel sound and uh, remaining other consonants in english for example apple a is consonant sorry a is vowel that is why an apple because a apple it is little difficult also to say na? 
So an apple we can say again that with usage it is very clear I guess. But if it is a bat, a bat that is bar sound that is consonant sound that is why a will be used. And when should the be used? The determinant the for example Mount Everest is the highest peak in the world. The because that is the only one. The Mount Everest because there is no multiple Mount Everest. But a mountain we will say because there are many mountains. Are you getting one among many? There you can use a but the means the uh, uh, yeah uh, uh, which other case you can use uh, or with examples. The laptop when we use the laptop it is referring to a particular laptop even if there are there are uh, millions of lakhs of uh, laptop all over the world. We are referring to a particular laptop that is when we use the laptop. And here Mount Everest is the highest peak because we want to refer to that only one particular peak. The highest. Highest is only one. Na. There can be many higher peaks or peaks of tall uh, peaks which are uh, taller in height. But the highest means superlative degree that should be with the only the highest peak in the world. So option A. Some of you have doubt with option, uh, option D right. One of the highest peak that is not correct with usage. Na? Yeah here you should know usage be correct. Hona Matlab, pe Mount Everest, aapko pata hona Mount Everest is not one among the many highest. It is the highest because there is no more there is no other peak which is more higher. That is why one of the highest here there is grammatical error also because one of the use kiya to yaha pe plural hona chahiye because one among many so many means plural hona chahiye na so grammatically also that is wrong that is why option d is wrong so one of the highest peak uh sorry one of highest peak also is wrong that is also grammatically wrong so only option a is correct did you all understood so that is the idea of that question. Let's see one or two more questions. This is um, this I will discuss tomorrow. Together similar questions we will discuss tomorrow. Yeah, try this. Okay, substituting options, I hope it is clear, most of you got an answer, very good. It is dash to read this year's textbook than last year's. Let us substitute option, easier, easier, most easy, easiest. The word than, sorry, this, when you read the sentence itself, we can say that it is comparing this year's and the last year's, comparing. So, comparing verb, we need to use. So, for comparing definitely than is the word to be used. So, second part should be than when you read the sentence itself, I hope it is clear. Comparing means comparative degree should be used. Now, most easy is not comparative degree, that is superlative degree. But 
technically also but other problem is e most ec is not the usage for ec it is ecest if it is superlative degree but anyway superlative degree cannot be used comparative degree should be used so it should be easier because ec comparative degree is easier some words comparative degree is with er in the end suffixing er but some verbs comparative degree is by prefixing most or adding most before the word for example more beautiful or more interesting or more uh, many many words you can take yeah you can mention it in the uh, chat which all words you remember with er you can make fast faster then what um, what verbs happy happier many words with er and some words with uh, most mo more most if it is comparative and superlative you can mention in the chat which all words you know uh, with er and with uh, more can you mention those of you are watching this live and recorded please do that that will help others to also read through the comments and learn more this is a proposition question proposition question we will discuss tomorrow it's also a proposition proposition and verb related more questions we will discuss tomorrow okay try this okay this also tomorrow we'll discuss Yeah, try this. This is a 2021 gate exam problem. Try it, please. Yeah, lighter, very good. Heavier, very good. Okay, Afreen. Greater, very good. More intelligent, very good. Cleverer, very good. Uh, funnier, very good. Yeah, some of them, one or two of them are wrong that uh, you can check later. Thank you, Vijay. All of you try this next class also will be just continuing grammar with one more class we will be covering completing grammar vocabulary there will be three more sessions on vocabulary or two sessions on vocabulary and one more on grammar i guess we'll update in the group yeah two more sessions on vocabulary Thank you, Afreen. I will convey to him also. Thank you for the good words. Thank you all of you for the uh, support that you all are giving. Yes, Anisha, I will also miss uh, this course because this course was very close to, close to me because it was a full length course which was started in my, um, uh, like in this channel. Uh, as a full length course first time we are running uh, a 50 lecture course in this channel so it was special to me also so there is four more lectures in this course and by that we will conclude this course but we are planning for some uh, paper analysis session after the exam is over so uh, stay tuned for that also and invite more people to that sessions also and share this playlist uh, we will share a link in the in the groups Please share it to maximum groups and other people who want to prepare for gate free of cost. The complete playlist link we will share. 
so share it to maximum people so that they can access uh, those videos before the exam so that they can be part of the paper analysis series also we are starting just after this course is over okay so let us discuss this uh, consider the following sentences i woke up from sleep i walked up from sleep i was woken up from sleep i was woken up from sleep some sentences when you read it itself you will feel like this is very odd <laughs> this is totally wrong so that way itself you can eliminate otherwise i will sh i will tell you the rules we are applying here i woke up from sleep that is totally okay walk uh, wake walk woken that is the simple tense past and past participle tense so woke up in the past tense we are saying i woke up from sleep that is totally correct but i walked up there is no word called walked up that is grammatically wrong wake walk is the past tense walked is not there so that is wrong i was woken up from sleep yes if someone is waking you up in that context we we can say i was woken up from sleep so option c is okay but i was woken up again the word woken is not there in english so statement four is wrong so statement one and three is only correct that is why option b is the correct answer i hope this is clear Welcome Afreen. Welcome Shivanki, Shruti, and all of you. So I think uh, today we can conclude here. Uh, we have discussed how many questions. Anyone remember how many questions are completed? And uh, those who are watching this recorded also, you can mention your thoughts about grammar, uh, your ideas of any question you have. You can add more. And in the next class, we will learn. Uh, grammar next part and vocabulary there will be uh, lectures two more lectures and vocabulary will update you either if possible today or tomorrow or day after tomorrow those sessions will be there so thank you so much sushant welcome diksha so there is no other doubts let's conclude if there is any doubts please mention yeah, this was a fourth lecture today. That is why I am not continuing more. The throat is also a uh, little straining uh, today. As result, because today itself we have discussed comprehension first lecture. Yeah, just as per the plan, we are reaching the end of the course. The 50 lectures, 46 lectures are completed. Four more lectures. By that we will be covering, completing this course. Uh, okay, Vijay, I will try to conduct an evening because I cannot now guarantee any time because we are running short of time due to many other um, uh, engagements. So anyway, uh, uh, we'll try maximum to give classes according to your convenient time. Otherwise, please check the recording of the session and learn and share the recording of the play playlist of the recorded videos to maximum people. That is a gentle request to all of you. We will share it in the groups today. That playlist, please share to maximum people, maximum groups, maximum telegram groups, WhatsApp group, which is relevant, which is relevant for gate exam. Don't spam in groups, but uh, which is uh, groups that is relevant for gate exam, which you think that they want to learn gate general aptitude well. And if you think that this will be useful for them, please share it. Use walk, jump, include, uh, meet, all are plural. Yes, all are plural, Shikha use walk jump all are plural because verb plural is when s is not there exceptions are there but the words you mentioned all of them are plural is it clear so happy to hear vijay spread the word let more people know if the sessions are good spread the word so thank you so much swati and thank you so much for the support uh, so let us conclude So, thank you all of you. Have a good night. See you all in the next class. Uh, the other videos I have given in other platforms also you can check. You can uh, search the keywords and find those playlists. Uh, General Aptitude by Christy Vergas, you can find the playlist I have given in other platforms also. And also, recently we have taken few marathon sessions in an academy platform. That also you can check for more learning of verbal ability and non-verbal ability. So, thank you Shikha. So let us conclude. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a good night.